Hello everybody and welcome back to another progress update. Now this is the third progress update and I'm gonna be bringing these uh, very frequently uh, like I have for the past few months as a lot has happened on the Mozart and every time something changes I do want to inform you guys and keep you guys updated on what's going on and that today we're gonna be looking over everything again and I'm gonna show you what has changed and what still has to happen for the ship to get completed so I guess we'll jump right in so first of all I'm going to go to the last area uh, where we left off which was actually the stern uh, we uh, looked at the area here in the aft promenade this was already completed last time but I after I finished that video I relatively quickly finished the hospital as well as you can see so all of these rooms are completed now I won't show you too much since I will be going more in depth on this in in the in depth series because that's what they are for I'm just here to update you but they are all done, all the rooms, and if you want to look at them, you're gonna have to wait for release. So there's always a little bit of stuff I don't show you, so you, you can get excited for when I release the ship. So I, that has been completed in the meantime, and something you actually saw me build on screen is the, the third class areas up here on C deck, as you can see. This, uh, this, uh, yeah, this stairwell here is was not completed on screen, but these uh, adjoining rooms were completed. So, the uh, this is the general room, and I made, uh, I actually, yeah, recorded myself building this. It was a very different experience because it's something I never really do, but I decided to try it out again because I did do it once before in the history of my channel. So. I, I liked it when <laughs> I liked that and I really wanted to try it again so I did and I, I think you guys might have also enjoyed it so I maybe I might do it more often in the future because it also might be interesting to see yeah, me work on spaces because oftentimes it's <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks and things change a lot during the process of building and the same holds true for the smoking room over here. This was also built in the video. Albeit that part of the video was very brief because this isn't a very special room. So yeah, these rooms were completed pretty shortly after recording the last video. And now we come down to the third class dining room as you can see this. I completed this area uh, 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 shortly after I recorded the build with me episode. So yeah, <laughs> because obviously I wanted to get all of these areas done finally. So I moved on to this area pretty quickly and as you can see it turned out pretty well. And yeah, it's nothing special, it's just third class, so there's just tables and some plum pots in the middle of the room and some basic needs, uh, some basic like carts and <laughs> and washing, yeah, these these floor cleaner uh, uh, machines and some ventilators on the walls but I didn't detail this room too much since there isn't really much to put here it's just a simple dining room and yeah you can also see kind of the ship uh, uh, the ship's bow curving here is, which is very interesting and now moving forward I just realized I did, did not, I never uh, actually I never labeled this room, but this is the fireman's quarters or rather the boiler room and uh, the boiler room staff quarters as I like to call them here because this ship is gonna be oil burning so there aren't gonna be as many firemen or trimmers there are just gonna be some f a few firemen that are gonna take care of the boilers make sure everything's running well but not a lot so that's why these fireman's quarters aren't very big as you can see a few beds here a few beds here we're gonna go into the four peak in a second and if you move down here as you can see there's a few beds on each deck not a lot though because there are, you don't need a lot on this ship and moving down in, into the four peak as you can see nothing special it's just a four peak with all all, all of the storage areas and just yeah it's just there uh, to cushion the ship if so it ramps into something so it's nothing special but yeah, the, uh, those spaces are already done and we're gonna move right on again. As you can see, I also completed all of the bow areas in third class. This is one of the third class yeah, cabin sections. This is the E-Deck section one. 
as you can see there uh, I also once again label all the cabins so you'll be able to find your way around I also label all the sections again so yeah t there's no way you will be getting lost on this ship that's for sure and I even labeled all I uh, ha have these pointers th that show where the stairwells are and I think that's gonna help too and something you can see here this is the the entrance for the crow's nest actually it's all the way down here and that's because I really didn't have an uh, <laughs> and I really didn't have another place where I could put it honestly so I had to put it down here which isn't all which isn't optimal but I guess yeah you win some you lose some so yeah this is the next section of third class cabins as you can see there's a lot of stairwells there's some more hidden stairwells and then there's some bigger stairwells with a lot of with a lot of signs on the walls then you have even more cabins and now we get into the Scotland Road area as you can see or this is more the, uh, the service corridor since this isn't actually a British ship so it wouldn't make sense to call it Scotland Road and yeah as you can see there's a ton of doors on the side we'll get to that in a bit but first we're gonna look at the crew quarters as you can see there's just some crew rooms nothing special and I'm just gonna quickly move through here since there's nothing I want to look at at the moment because yeah that's all for the in-depth series but there is this little break room as you can see it's it's fairly tall I, tr I tried to <laughs> take advantage of the ceiling space a little bit mm, but yeah other than that there's just uh, bed uh, yeah these large uh, lavatories there uh, there are mess halls and there uh, and there are also these large yeah, uh, steward bunks and other bunks. We also have some storerooms every once in a while. And yeah, that goes on for the entire length of this hallway. As you can see, there's just hundreds of these rooms. And all the way up here, you have the quartermasters and stuff. And that's all the crew on that side. So yeah, that took a surprisingly long time. And now, uh, if uh, on the right here, we have this interesting staircase. You saw that this a while ago probably so this is the staircase the galley crew would actually use to get into the galley and get all the food into the galley as well so you also have some hoists over here going all the way down which is pretty convenient for the <laughs> for if you have to yep yeah, take uh, some stuff to the galleys but yeah the, over there's nothing special but now we get into more interesting affairs as you can see we actually have a second service corridor over here it's slightly smaller and only runs a little bit uh, of the length of the ship as you can see it's not a lot but this is the main yeah through the throughput area for crew actually this is the crew deck because this is the area the crew would most likely be on on a regular basis and yeah, that's why we also have a large mess here. This is for the more high-ranking crew since it's more beautiful. So this is where you are chief engineers, higher-ranking engineers, all of the all of the department managers and everything would eat in here. And that's why this is a little bit nicer. And speaking of the chief engineer, he has his cabin over here. As you can see, it's actually quite nice. I decided to give him a nice cabin because why not? Aft of the uh, uh, crew, uh, yeah, <laughs> crew di uh, dining hall for the high ranking, we have the crew lounge for everyone. Now, as you can see, this is uh, uh, decorated in a very nice Art Deco styling with a <laughs> with a contrasting floor, and yeah, this is where you would go. The where you go if you don't have a shift at the moment the other w a room we looked at was the break room which is where you would go if you were on your shift but you were on a break but if you weren't on a shift for the next few hours you could play uh, play cards with your friends here in the crew lounge which is very nice so I did give them uh, quite some luxury actually on the ship which is quite nice and also you if you have maids and valets you have in uh, go as a passenger that will need to sleep somewhere you can book them in here in this little section as you can see we have a ton of rooms just for them and they also have their own mess hall as you can see and yeah this is why you are yeah, maids and valets would all be and also we have the musicians over here with the instrument uh, and the instruments and yeah all the bunks 
that's all. We also <laughs> saw this is for the orchestra with sleep, quote unquote orchestra. It's only really, I believe, seven people. And yeah, moving forward, we already looked at this area, but something I want to quickly mention: these signs are now different. This was uh, before uh, beforehand. This was E41 to E47. Now it's E43 to E49 because I did some math wrong when I when I did all the math for uh, how many cabins are in this section. So yeah, there were too many extra cabins I, that went unaccounted for because I had some extra space, probably changed something and I never included that in my calculations. And as you can see, yeah, these cabins are already done. So yeah, I'm, get, I'm slowly finishing off all the first class cabins. It's quite annoying to build these cabins since they're all very elaborately built, even though they're not the nicest cabins. They're still super annoying. So yeah, I'm just slowly plodding along building these. And as you can see, you have the F-Tech cabins down there. Which, so that's where you go to the F-Tech cabins, fun fact. And yeah, those cabins were quite annoying to build. And here in the bow, as you can see, are more third class cabins. As you can see, there's some event rooms, but there's mainly just third class cabins on F deck, as you can see. And yeah, the, uh, there's also the fireman's quarters we looked at already. And moving down again, we have even more third class. But if you move into the aft compartment, we already have the storerooms. This is the uh, all of the food storerooms, as you can see, that, which I traditionally have in the bow of the ship. Now, usually, like on the Olympic class, you have it in the back of the ship. But I like to <laughs> I like to have them in the bow of the ship because it's more convenient next to all the other cargo holds. So that it's something I've started doing a while ago, and I'm gonna keep keep doing it. Yeah, keep, I'm gonna keep doing it like that, I think. And as you can see, we all have all of the storerooms. I'm not gonna go in depth into any of them. That's gonna be for later, but yeah, they're there, so that's nice. And we also have an emergency staircase going into the baggage hold, as you can see. This is where the baggage is. This is also where the post office is here. It's not very big. It's also not very organized, but it's a post office. And yeah, we have first class, second class, and third class baggage. Nothing special, and we have some light bugs. That's <laughs> how unfortunate. And we also have another big store, bulk store room, as you can see. And moving down, we have a more general store room, as you can see. It's not very lit up because it's not supposed to be. And yeah, you even have like these, yeah, ventilators. Now these aren't really ventilators. These are just air intakes, so you don't suffocate down here. So yeah, if you're wondering, no, this is not air conditioned, this area, this is just ventilated, that, uh, so that you don't suffocate. But as you can see, you have just some simple freight down here, nothing special, and same is in the forward compartment and up here as well. So, this is just general storerooms, are filled up with some stuff that, uh, <laughs> so just general stuff, I didn't think too much about what I put in there, just threw in some stuff, nothing special. And as you can see, on F deck these third class cabins, uh, first class cabins, still uncompleted. That is something I still need to work on. And um, but moving up, I finished some part of the first class areas. Uh, that is the B deck aft grid staircase l lobby area because this was unfinished for a while. And all the uh, 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 some uh, things I have here is the sports hall which was already in the original design that was supposed to be here which makes sense because the sports hall is not something too important or something that belongs in the main area so I put it in the aft yeah staircase instead because it's not as important and it also has direct access to a promenade which is very nice and uh, it's massive by the way like this is huge and I'm thinking on the sister ship I might pu put the wall here instead and then have a more direct access uh, from the staircase to the promenade here. And that's what I'm thinking because this sports hall is pretty big. And the a la carte restaurant is here as well. Now you might be confused because there's already a grill room on the ship down on the deck. But I don't think that was enough, so uh, I didn't think that was enough, so I decided to have this extra uh, extra VIP <laughs> dining room. So if you uh, booked one of the suites or want to pay extra, you can dine in here instead. It's a very Art Deco style with, again, like this is early Art Deco already. 
And it also has a very simple <laughs> green carpet, which kind of looks like grass because it the blocks are grass, but it's carpet. And yeah, this room is nothing really that special. Well, it is kind of special because it's for the VIPs basically, but it's not very big. That yeah, it's. I decided to add it because uh, because I just, it felt like I didn't have enough space to dine at. So yeah, it, it wasn't actually the original design, fun fact. And I think we already looked at all the uh, parlor suites, as you can see, there nothing has changed in that department. And as you can see, everything down here is also still pretty much the same. Yeah, now that uh, I have more space at the a la carte restaurant to dine, I might actually consider punching out this middle section here. So I actually have a raised area in the dining room as well. Because it's something that I feel is still lacking in this dining room because yeah it has a lot of potential if I just uh, d dug out this section here of, of the dining hall and maybe left a little bit of a corridor over here and that's it. Yeah I might be considering doing that so um, if you like that maybe tell me I might do it. But yeah that is actually mostly everything I, I have to show for you. Uh, yeah it's very <laughs> a lot has happened in the past month and uh, work is continuing pretty quickly still now uh, to the release date i'm not sure when i'm gonna be able to release it i'm hoping I'm, uh, the release date will be around december uh, I, d I doubt i'll be able to make november since there's still so much to do but if you look at the progress plan a lot has happened and since the entire bow is completed now i have one less thing to worry about which is always very nice and that also means i have completed a ton of the ship already and yeah the hull is gonna be done soon at least the cabin and uh, the, all the uh, yeah passenger areas of the hull will be done soon and yeah, obviously all the engineering areas are gonna be last, but other than that, mostly the superstructure remains, which is mostly just nice first class cabins, which is gonna be a quick job actually, so it's not gonna be some, uh, it's not gonna be too much of a hassle, and I also still have to do some second class uh, stuff, which I kind of neglected second class recently. As you can see, I only have this section completed, and all of the public rooms down here are still to be built. And even even the sea deck area of the dining hall is not completed. And actually, about this area, I'm actually planning to. May, uh, glass this area up here and make this an like a semi a la carte restaurant for the second class it may be a nice idea because this is already pretty big down here so I might actually have this be a different restaurant so yeah I'm considering doing that maybe and yeah that's basically everything I have to say about the release date I'm hoping to aim for December at the moment and yeah I I sure hope I can yeah do that but other than that thank you guys for watching have a good uh, day maybe leave a like and comment and yeah goodbye guys